Hey guys, and welcome back to SSTV. And you guys are watching Read Out Loud, but this time is singing version. So today's story is Ask Me the Emerald Fairy and the Search for the Sparkle Stone by Sarah Crease, illustrated by Lara Eady. In Sparkle Town, across a bridge, almost hidden from sight. There stood a small museum with flags of green, green and white. The museum kept all kinds of things, from books to giant bones. But the best and most amazing were its sparkling precious stones. Esme, the Emerald Fairy, looked after each display. Making sure her fairy cats saw something new each day. With one swish of her emerald wand, she made each gem shine bright. But because Esme was very shy, she did this out of sight. Esme polished every day, but the fairies did not know. For all she did this in secret, too shy to let it show. One morning, like each day before, as me began to work, but there she waved her wand in fist and <laughs> pot. Then when the sick without her wand, the sparkly stones became so dull and plain. That the guests felt so disappointed, oh and they started well, to complain. Seeing their friend look down and blue, the fairies came to help. But as they cleaned, Susie sneezed and knocked a book from the shelf. Said as me, even with this book, I've never find the stars. Definitely cried. I'll it help you try. You won't be on your game. own. As Esme felt uncertain still, Susie took the lead, and off they flew across the town towards the silver the sea. sea. Are you sure we can do this? Come on, let's go. At last, they saw a mountain top covered in shimmering white. The stone is near here, as we said. That's why it's all shot of diamonds. With goggles on to shut their eyes from all the dazzling snow. The fairies search from left to right, then up and down the tunnel. They flew across the tunnel, then saw carved on a wall. Only those with inner light may reach the sparkle hall. Each fairy gave the wall a tap, but as me felt too shy, so the other very gently encouraged her to try. As me thought of her music you can do this. and what she had to say, she took a breath and tapped the wall. Go as me. As me. She said, "Be brave." The wall went crunch, then cracked apart. As me squeezed inside, but in a flash, it all turned black, and she was terrified. Before she had the time to think, she felt her wand get hot. It shook and shuddered and shivered. Then from her hand it shot, it whisked into the darkness and into the unknown. Till suddenly the one lit up beneath the sparkle stone, the stone bright light shone all around. As me stared wide eyed, a narrow path stretched toward the stone with big drops on each side. Her wings were trembling at the sight. I'll have to walk," she said. Bravely, she stepped onto the path, was looking straight ahead. With each new step, her courage grew, 
As soon as she reached the end, she boldly took the stone and went and rushed back to her friends. Sleepily but full of glee, the fairies headed home, and proudly, as my pudding plies the wondrous sparkle stone. Soon the museum was full again, but better still than that wow. was Esme newfound confidence, which brought her powers back. <laughs> Now Esme's not afraid to show. Just what she can do. She sparkles on the outside and on the inside too. And that's the end of the story. If you like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.